What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Tuesday, January 31st. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this five game NBA slate tonight at the point guard position. Start on the slate that I like is a Russell Westbrook from the LA Lakers playing the New York Knicks. Actually, you know what? He's on a back-to-back. -back. I just want to take a look. He's not playing a lot of minutes recently. Let me just check really quick. I didn't notice this when I first marked him. I didn't notice he was on a back-to-back, -back, but it looks like uh, last back-to-back -back he played 33 minutes, then 32 minutes, so that's good. Uh, 30, 29 minutes, then played 32 minutes. He's playing more minutes on the second night of the back-to-back. -back. For the most part, same or more minutes. So I think Russell Westbrook, and he hasn't been playing a ton of minutes lately. So I like Russell Westbrook from the LA Lakers playing the New York Knicks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Russell Westbrook has averaged 37.5 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. Now, this projection is really low here. Uh, I think he can score 38 fantasy points or more in this game. Uh, let's see what that would get us. Actually, I think he can score 42 fantasy points or more in this game. He has a pretty good track record here versus the Knicks. I actually think he can score 45 fantasy points or more in this one. Uh, let's take a look at the point guard position again. So 45 fantasy points is 5.2 times value because he's 8,700 DraftKings salary. And is he is he 2,000 less on FanDuel? I'd have to double check that because if that's the case, he is way too low on FanDuel. I would love that FanDuel price. Uh, but Russell Westbrook here has scored 46, 27, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 25, and 27 minutes. You know, the more that I look at this pick, the more I'm not really loving it here. I mean, he's going to have to put up a pretty good game to get five times value. He does have a good matchup. He is on a back-to-back. -back. He did put up 46 fantasy points yesterday. I do like Russell Westbrook. If he really is only 6,700 on FanDuel, that is a fantastic price. The 8,700 may be a little bit too much on DraftKings. So sorry about starting off with this first pick that was a little bit questionable here. Uh, but let's move on to a guy who's not so questionable. So I like Terry Rozier from the Charlotte Hornets playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Terry Rozier has averaged 37.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He's projected at 36.4 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 40 fantasy points or more, gets you five times value or more. He's 8,000 DraftKings salary, 200 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 239 points scored in this game. And Terry Rozier has scored 53, 49, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 35, and 36 minutes. And Terry Rozier, he scored 52, 37, 37, 47, and 45 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Bucks. His lowest score in his last five games is a 35, and the next lowest score is a 40, then a 49, a 53, and a 55. So this guy's been on fire. It's a high-scoring game. He's got a good player versus team history. 
So I'd probably go Terry Rozier here on DraftKings for 8,000 over Russell Westbrook on DraftKings for 8,700. So I like Terry Rozier here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, now if you're looking for a value play here, take a look at Emmanuel quickly from the New York Knicks playing the LA Lakers, who have the second worst defense overall, give up the third most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Emmanuel quickly has averaged 24.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 27 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.3 times value. He's 5,100 DraftKings salary, 100 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 236 points scored in this game. And Emmanuel quickly has scored 31, 28, and 26 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 27, 28, and 27 minutes. So I like Emmanuel quickly here versus the LA Lakers. Now, I just caught this play out of the corner of my eye. Take a look at Kyle Lowry from the Miami Heat playing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, I know it's not a good matchup here. The Cavaliers have a good defense overall, and they're good versus opposing point guards. But Kyle Lowry has averaged 29.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's projected at 27.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.8 times value. Only 4,700 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel. Now, Vegas does think this is going to be a low-scoring game. Only 210 points scored in this game. And Kyle Lowry has scored 24, 23, and 19 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 30, 25, and 29 minutes. Now, I know he hasn't played well in the last three games, so he probably hasn't hit value in the last three games. He'll need, uh, doesn't need much to hit value here tonight. Probably only needs 23 fantasy points or more to get you five times value. So I think his salary has come down enough now where he's playing enough minutes where he could easily hit value even if he only scores 23 fantasy points. I think that puts him in a pretty good spot. Even if it's a bad matchup, he certainly has 30-plus fantasy point upside. So I think it makes him a good value play tonight. So I like Kyle Lowry as a value play here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy? And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So I like Donovan, nope, not Donovan Mitchell. That's, no, don't like Donovan Mitchell. Only played 20 minutes last game, scored 18 fantasy points. Not ready to pay 8,600 for Donovan Mitchell quite yet. Uh, where is my shooting guard? Oh, Emmanuel quickly was my shooting guard. I got another one for you. I like Zach Levine from the Chicago Bulls playing the LA Clippers who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They've been pretty good versus opposing shooting guards. Zach Levine has averaged 38.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. Now he's projected at 36.6 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 40 fantasy points or more here. He's 8,100 DraftKings salary, 900 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 230 points scored in this game. And Zach Levine has scored 38, 36, and 21 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 35, and 38 minutes. So he's playing monster minutes, doesn't have the best matchup here tonight. Been struggling a little bit as of late, although he did score his season average last game. Uh, I think he can put up 40 plus fantasy points in this game. 
and my guess is his ownership will be pretty low. So I like Zach Levine here versus the LA Clippers. Okay, now here's another value play. Uh, this is a play because he's playing so many minutes. He's got a good matchup here. So I like Patrick Beverly from the LA Lakers playing the New York Knicks who have a middle of the pack defense overall, give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Patrick Beverly has averaged 17.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with an 11% usage rate. Now he's projected at 18 fantasy points here tonight. That's only four times value. It's a high risk, high reward play here. He could certainly score 25 to 30 plus fantasy points and crush value. Only 4,500 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 236 points scored in this game. Patrick Beverly has scored 11, 35, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 36, and 23 minutes. And he is on a back-to-back. -back. Let's take a look. How is he doing on back-to-backs? How many minutes is he playing? Uh, looks like he was rested or he was injured this back-to-back. -back. Uh, this back-to-back, -back, okay, uh, versus the Hawks, 24 minutes. Next game, he played 25 minutes. Uh, versus the Magic, 29 minutes. Next game, he played 27 minutes. So I don't think this back-to-back -back is going to be a big problem here. Uh, but he might not play 34 or 36 minutes like he did the last two games. So with all those things considered, I think he's an interesting value play in a good matchup. But the back-to-back, -back, just like what uh, Russell Westbrook got me a little bit cautious on this play. But I do like Patrick Beverly here versus the New York Knicks. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So I like DeMar DeRozan from the Chicago Bulls playing the LA Clippers who have a middle of the pack defense overall, middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. DeMar DeRozan has averaged 42.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. Now he's projected at 39.8 fantasy points here tonight. I think that's a little bit low. I think he can score 48 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 9,000 DraftKings salary, 500 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 230 points scored in this game. And DeMar DeRozan has scored 50, 40, and 45 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 35, and 39 minutes. He's got a pretty good track record recently here versus the Clippers. Scored 67 and 51 fantasy points in his last two games. Hasn't scored under 40 fantasy points in his last five games. So I like DeMar DeRozan here versus the LA Clippers. Okay, another small forward that I like, and I think I like him a little bit more than DeMar DeRozan, is Paul George from the LA Clippers playing the Chicago Bulls who have the 10th worst defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Paul George has averaged 42.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. He's projected at 42.6 uh, 42 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 8,900 DraftKings salary, 600 less on FanDuel, we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 230 points scored in this game. And Paul George scored 43 and 61 fantasy points in his last two games, playing 36 and 35 minutes. He uh, took a rest last game, so he should be good to go for plenty of minutes here tonight. So I like Paul George here versus the Chicago Bulls. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. 
no confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, another small forward that I like. He just came back last game, played 28 minutes, scored 30 fantasy points. So I do think he's underpriced here in a good matchup. So I like Michael Porter Jr. from the Denver Nuggets playing the New Orleans Pelicans, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Michael Porter Jr. has averaged 28.1 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 26.6 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score his season average here of 28 fantasy points, get you five times value or more. He's 5,700 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 234 points scored in this game. And Michael Porter Jr., uh, yeah, he scored 30 fantasy points last game, played 28 minutes. Looks like he just came back last game, so salaries, I think it's going to be a little underpriced. And he's got a good matchup in a fast-paced game here. So I like Michael Porter Jr. here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. Stud on the slate that I like is Julius Randle from the New York Knicks playing the LA Lakers. Well, the second worst defense overall, give up the six most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Julius Randle has averaged 47.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. Now, he's projected at 46.3 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 50 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 10,100 DraftKings salary, 700 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 236 points scored in this game. And Julius Randle has scored 46, 53, and 61 fantasy points in the last three games. Playing monster minutes here, he played 38, 36, and 37 minutes in the last three games. And he's got fantastic player versus team history. He scored 67, 50, 49 and 58 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Lakers and out of his last five games in general the 46 was his lowest score second lowest score was a 52 then a 53 59 and a 61 so I like Julius Randle here versus the LA Lakers okay moving on to the center position I like Evan Mobley could also play him at power forward here from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Miami Heat who have a good defense overall they've been good versus opposing centers Evan Mobley has averaged 33.9 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate now he's projected at 34.2 fantasy points here tonight I think he can score 38 fantasy points or more in this one Get you five times value or more. He's 7,200 DraftKings salary, 400 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 210 points scored in this game. And Evan Mobley has scored 33, 43, and 44 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 26, 37, and 33 minutes. Decent track record here versus the Heat. Scored 37, 45, 23, and 48 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Heat. Only played 26 minutes last game, so I like that. Should uh, play plenty of minutes here tonight. So I like Evan Mobley here versus the Miami Heat. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.